It is time for some more distillation experimentation, and this time Ralphie has given me a posh whiskey to try, and it's a Lafrague. Eilie Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, the most richly flavoured of all Scotch whiskies, distilled on the remote island of Eilie off the west coast of Scotland. Sounds nice. So let's get it out. Ooh. Instructions. Here's the bottle. I'll just put that down out the way. We'll crack the seal. Oh my, it's sealed. Oh, Jesus, it's got a little plastic seal and everything. Oh, is this got a cork in it? Wow, must be really posh. It's not my style of whiskey at all, is it? Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, so here is the distiller, and it's not a very sophisticated distiller. It is designed for distilling water, so everything's going through. Are you ready for supercilious soy face? Here we go. Actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get the Lafrague bit actually pointing the correct direction. Ah, people are going to get sick of the soy faces after a while, but I feel obliged to do them for the obliquitous YouTube thumbnail. The obliquitous YouTube thumbnail. Okay. So I'm going to stick this through now I've poured all that whiskey in here. And once it's gone through, I shall put it back in the bottle for returning to Ralphie, but I'm going to taste it first. And also, any residue that's left, I'm going to add a little tiny bit back in and uh, put it in a separate bottle for him, because Ralphie wants to try some experiments. I'll be back in one moment. The redistillation is now complete, and I want to point out that before I distilled it, I tasted it, and they're not kidding about the smokiest, strongest whiskey. It was like the entire Amazon rainforest had basically exploded in the whiskey factory. It was very smoky. But it has distilled. I'm going to have to see if there's a leak in the distill or something. I think it's... It makes the place smell nice, but I'd, I'd rather be drinking whiskey than, than inhaling it. I have a Glencairn glass. As you can see, the spirit is now crystal clear. I won't pour in too much because Ralph wants his whiskey back. Oh, it still smells very, very smoky. Let me taste this. Ooh, super strong. It's got all the flavors still there. Oh, that is bitey, bitey, bitey. That is super oily and smoky. That is one of the, it's quite nice. I'm not a super duper aficionado, but the Lafrague, uh, Eile Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, that is, that's impressive. That is super strong and smoky. Uh, um, mm, mm. I like it, as you can see. But what was left behind is quite sinister. Look at this. This must be oils because... Well, I'm guessing it's oils because the small amount left is very liquid. And oils would disappear in ethanol, which is what most spirits are. Well, all spirits, hopefully, because uh, otherwise you don't want to drink anything else. But uh, in water, they'd be visible as an emulsion. I don't know what this is. I'm going to taste some. I think it's going to taste horrible. But we shall find out. Ralph wants this to experiment with. So I've got a little tiny communion glass because, you know, you do it super religious style. I'm going to put a wee half bit in and then I'm going to taste and I'll tell you what it tastes like. <laughs> Bitter and almost like cigarette smoke, tobacco. Oh, that's weird. But anyway, I would say that the best outcome from this was this crystal clear, crystal clear, this crystal clear spirit, which uh, tastes super strong. I may have a little bit more. Uh, and I'm going to give this back to Ralphie tomorrow. And then I'll put a link. I shall put a link. Hold on. This is where it gets clever. I'll put a link up here to Ralphie's video. And then you can view it and see what his opinion of the results was. But I'd say that was a good result. Very, very strong flavor. Very nice.